when people feel that the cost of living uh, is very, very high and they can't make ends meet, you can't tell them that they're wrong. The market numbers and the jobs numbers and even the price index, all of that's going well. Um, but I think you'd have to be ignoring what's out there in the polling and the other indicators we showed to see that there is a bad vibe. What do you make of that contrast, Governor Dean? And how is your vibe uh, well, today as well? First of all, the, the, vibe, the, vibe vibe was. Was the, the vibe always lags the reality. Second of all, Trump is doing everything he can to because he has no throttle on, uh, on his ability to lie. Uh, and the third thing, which I think most people don't realize is that Republicans always cause inflation. And the reason they, the way they do it is to give tax breaks to the very wealthiest people in America and then not pay for them. The largest deficits in history have run, been run by the last four uh, Republican presidents. Biden has made this economy grow. Trump was the one that screwed it up in the first place. Let me just add to that uh, by saying that uh, certainly when people feel that the cost of living uh, is very, very high, and they can't make ends meet. You can't tell them that they're wrong. Hmm, you can't right. tell them that their feelings are wrong. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that just doesn't work. Uh, and the reality is this. Uh, in certain areas of the economy, particularly uh, in food and energy, talking about the gas pump, uh, and also rents, uh, we're seeing prices very, very high. And I think part of the reason is corporate power, monopoly power, pricing power. Uh, and that's been there. It's growing over the years. Uh, the economy is much more concentrated in fewer big corporate hands than it was years ago. Uh, and I think, although President Biden has tried to do a lot about it and has been fairly successful in terms of antitrust, aggressive antitrust action, uh, perhaps in terms of messaging, uh, he could be even more aggressive and name names of uh, companies that are are basically keeping their prices up, uh, even though their their profits are at record levels. Uh, their stock prices are at record levels. Their CEO pay is at record levels, uh, but they're not treating their consumers well. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned uh, what can be done there. The president uh, broadly has talked about it. And price gouging is a piece of this. Take a listen. Too many corporations raise their prices and pad their profits, charging you more and more for less and less. That's why we're cracking down on corporations engaged in price gouging and deceptive pricing. Well, I think he could go a little bit further than that. For example, we know uh, that ExxonMobil uh, is a gigantic oil company. Uh, it is colluding around the world, keeping oil prices up. We know that Tyson's Food uh, and also uh, Albertsons and Kroger's, some of the major grocery chains, are keeping their prices up. PepsiCo, uh, a major food supplier and processor, is keeping its prices up, even though they are enjoying record markups and profits. I could go on. <laughs> 